Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today's latest transfer headline is Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta likely to sign former Pep Guardiola transfer target Mano Solomon. So the reports are stating that Arsenal are reportedly set to sign a former target of Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola. Arsenal are likely to complete a deal for Shakhtar Donetsk winger Mano Solomon according to reports. Solomon has established himself as a hot property ever since joining Shakhtar from his previous club in 2019. The 21-year-old has scored 12 goals in 59 appearances for the Ukrainian side. Solomon grabbed the headlines earlier this season when he scored in both of his sides' Champions League group stage wins over Real Madrid. The forward is a reported former target of Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola who wanted to sign him in 2017. Solomon has confirmed that City were keen on signing him. He is reported as saying, They really wanted me and I had a meeting with them, but unfortunately it did not work out. However, it now appears Arsenal are close to securing a deal for the Israel star. The Daily Mail star says a deal for Solomon to the move to Emirates is likely. The report claims Arsenal are already planning for the summer, suggesting a transfer won't happen until the end of the season. Solomon, who has scored one goal in 14 caps for Israel, has a contract at Shakhtar until 2023. Meanwhile, Arsenal do continue their um, stunning form against Newcastle United in a stunning match with stunning displays in my opinion. In terms of the attacking lineup, it was very good in my opinion. But in terms of Manor Solomon, if you guys want to know who Manor Solomon is, Manor Solomon is the 21-year-old forward Pep Guardiola had intended to sign in 2017 before his old side in Israel doubled their asking price. City had hoped to sign Solomon for £5 million after catching their attention in the opening season at his previous club. He scored several goals for the club before City tabled their offer. However, the citizen pulled out of the transfer race when his previous club demanded £10 million due to the prestige of the Premier League. As a result, Shakhtar Donetsk snapped the forward up at the midway point of the 2019 season, a move that City lived to regret. During the 2019-2020 campaign, Solomon scored 11 goals for his club. One of those goals came against Manchester City in the Champions League. Solomon also found the back of the net in two fixtures against Real Madrid, establishing himself as a real target for clubs across Europe. As for 2020-2021, Solomon has scored an impressive 6 goals from 17 outings, an impressive rate for a 21-year-old. In terms of why do you also want Solomon? Well, Solomon is regarded as a hot property for several reasons. He's a young, versatile player that radiates energy when on the ball. Despite his young age, he has experienced top flight football making plenty of appearance in the Champions League and could bring a new and dynamic threat to Arsenal's attack. Solomon would be a long-term investment for Arsenal, should they attain his signature. Arteta would look to develop the youngster at the Emirates and prepare him to succeed Nicola Pepe and Willian. Acquiring Solomon's services would be a proactive decision from the Arsenal manager as he is 11 years Willian's junior. Solomon would also provide healthy co competition for Arsenal's emerging stars for Kai Osaka and Gabriel Martinelli. In terms of Solomon's style of play, well, Solomon is unlike any player in Arteta's current stride. He prides himself on his flair and is the sort of player that takes one rewinds in his stride. One of, his, one of Solomon's key strengths is his ability to dribble with the ball and take on opponents. Solomon's technical quality allows him to occupy threatening positions and pose an imminent threat on goal. His style of play is raw, unrefined and may need some attention, but the youngster is guaranteed to provide the Gunners with plenty of stepovers, heel flicks and left to the right drags. Much like any youngster looking to enter the most competitive league in the world, there are some elements he will need to work on. Although Solomon is an excellent dribbler that is bound to take on players, the timing of his final plus can sometimes be too late, a trait that can be frustrating but easily fixed with the right coach. In addition, Solomon's height may prove to be a challenge in one of the most physical leagues in the world. Nevertheless, Solomon is a player with superb technical ability and, that, and he could flourish in the Premier League if he is given the right attention. In terms of what is Solomon's best position, given the nature of his direct and attacking style, Solomon's best position is on the flanks. Solomon has made the majority of his appearances on the left-hand side of the midfield, although given his ability to strike from either foot, Solomon can be utilised on either flank. 
Solomon does, however, have the trend tendency to creep infield when he's not receiving enough of the ball out wide, something which frustrates those playing around him. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you guys know a lot about Solomon now and make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. Remain blessed and peace.